We're going to have a quick introduction to the seismic window, which is sort of the main window where a lot of the interaction between the, the user and the data set takes place. Uh, there's a number of places to get to that from the flow, running flows, the output will, can be displayed to the seismic window. We can come from the interactive window. It can also come from a number of windows to actually get to it from the attribute window, etc. Let's just open up the seismic window here. What we've got is a basic display of the seismic traces with a top annotation and a bottom annotation. Uh, this initial default is actually defined in the project. If we go up here and go to plotting defaults, we see we have data sets assorted to uh, set to the unstacked data options are stacked, and these are actually defined in here. Uh, what we can do is set up other types of plots, which we can access to the right mouse button menu in the seismic window. So there's a defined plot for unstacked and a st for stacked. So when you initially open a window, that's the plotting defaults that it's going to use. So again, we've got our general vista control of being able to zoom into a window. We can zoom on the time axes. Since we're zoomed, we can hold the control key down and pan around in either window. Uh, the display here is actually unsorted as such, not ensemble. So this uh, is as the traces are set sequentially on that data set. Uh, this toolbar at the top relates to uh, other modes that we can get into, and those modes are picking kills, uh, reverse polarity, picking surgical mutes, first break picking. This top toolbar is explained in another uh, movie you can go through and explain in great detail in the help. Uh, we'll, we'll look currently at this side toolbar so we have our seismic data plotting parameters and here we can do changes on the fly and apply to see what they're going to do to affect that data. So we have our clipping, uh, we can look at annotation so we have our annotation here for the top, here's our annotation for the bottom, we've got a graph of the offset what we could do is add in another text that is the channel number lots of different options that we can do in here we could specify an increment of five and we could actually display it vertically apply that so there's many options and in fact any of these can be read and written to various projects as well uh, display options allow us to force offset mode or to change and set our ensemble so right now we're in sort order so from that plot menu we've changed it into a sort order this top scroll bar is now effective for scrolling through the various ensembles we can come down here and double click in this window here and it'll actually bring up a box that allows us to just click and go to any particular record in that window so in this toolbar we have the ability to set that plotting. Uh, I can add pasted notes. I can set the color bar on and off. Now there's a number of keys that are active and the, this is actually you can look at the PDF on the hotkeys for Vista but that color bar I hit to turn that on and off. I can hit the C key to turn that on and off. I can turn the a an AGC on or off. Filter. So there's a number of options that I can turn on or off based on the keyboard to quickly turn them. Uh, we have our normal glasses for zooming in, snapshots. Uh, I'm currently in a shot order. I could change to a receiver order. You can see that. Uh, CMP order. Now I'm looking in a CMP order. I could do it in a continuous sort. What this is going to do is display each of the CMPs in an order that I can simply scroll through in this, this manner. I'll turn that off and we're looking at individual CMPs. I'll change it back to shot. Uh, this reflects what type of display in the ensemble, whether I'm in a trace sequential. So this is the order of the traces as they are in the ensemble, or I can display them based on the offset. So we're seeing them as they displayed in accordance to the offset in the header word. Graphing, I can click on here and graph any particular traces I want. There's more information on that later on. Uh, header window. 
I can click and bring up a trace header window that updates as I scroll or as I move around in the data set so it's a way to check your header values and as been going over before we have our receive and broadcast uh, that can be used to select different traces for display uh, this other top toolbar relates to setting our LMO or linear move out velocities. I come in here and I can click and that'll define a linear move out that I can apply on the fly either by going through my options in my data or pressing the L key actually turns that on or off. Related to that I can also turn on my theoretical first break and that is effectively using my geometry to display based on the linear move out velocity and the offset in the header so that gives you sort of a quick QC of the data I'll turn that off that's toggled on and off by the T key I can look at any type of velocity information by dragging and dropping now these values that are being displayed in the screen if I scroll that is a way to remove them I can look at uh, normal move out what I'm going to do is place first where my offset is and then you can see how I can change this velocity. Right click to actually set that as a display and again you can scroll to remove that and then we can look at diffraction patterns. Uh, the right mouse button actually has a lot of information in it in itself and there's a movie that pertains directly to the right mouse button menu in the seismic window. A lot of these options are part of the toolbox or toolbars uh, there's also ability to get into interactive processes on the fly. We looked at some of that AGC in that. This window actually allows us to apply those values directly on the fly so I can look at what those values are going to do to my data, data set. And apply reverse polarity and apply a filter on the fly. Change that directly. That's a way to interactively adjust my data. So that's a quick and brief beginning lookout at the uh, seismic window.